again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the morning of the 15th of March, 2019. Article posted by BBC News. Christchurch shooting 49 dead in New Zealand's mosque attack. 49 people have been killed and at least 20 wounded in shootings at two mosques in Christchurch, New Zealand. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern described the incident as a terrorist attack in one of New Zealand's darkest days. A man in his late 20s was charged with murder and will appear in court on Saturday morning, police confirmed. Two other men and one woman were detained nearby at a firearm seized, Police Commissioner Mike Bush said. He said one of those detained was later released, while officers were working to understand if the other two were connected. Police also found multiple explosive devices in a car belonging to one of the suspects. The attack, which came around the time people were attending the mosque for Friday prayers, was the deadliest in the nation's history. A gunman live-streamed footage of his rampage to Facebook, filmed with a head-mounted camera. The footage showed him firing indiscriminately at men, women, and children from close range inside the El Noor Mosque. Police called on the public not to share the extremely distressing footage online. Facebook said it had removed the gunman's Facebook and Instagram accounts and it was working to remove any copies of the footage. The suspect who was charged appeared to have published a manifesto before the attack outlining his intentions, in which he identified himself as a 28-year-old Australian citizen and espoused far-right and anti-immigration ideology. Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison described the man as an extremist right-wing terrorist. Police Commissioner Bush confirmed that the man was not known in advance to either New Zealand or Australian security services. New Zealand police said on Twitter that officers were in attendance at the property in the city of Dunedin in connection with the attack in Christchurch. It is not clear that this can now only be described as a terrorist attack, Prime Minister Adams said in a press conference. What we do know at this point. The first report of an attack came from El Noor Mosque located in central Christchurch. Witnesses told local media they ran for their lives and saw people bleeding on the ground outside the building. A second mosque in the suburb of Linwood was evacuated, but there were fewer details from that site. Police also disfused a number of IEDs, explosive devices, attached to the vehicles, Mr. Bush said. Authorities advised all mosques in the city to shut down until further notice. Armed police were also seen at Papaudi High School in Christchurch was, was cordoned off. Mr. Bush said a number of firearms had been recovered from both shooting sites and explosive devices were found in a car belonging to one of the suspects. What happened at the mosques? The sequence of events remain unclear and mostly come from the gunman's own video or eyewitness reports of local media. The gunman's footage showed him driving up to the Al Nur mosque before taking weapons from his car entering the mosque and firing. One unnamed survivor from the mosque told TV New Zealand he saw the gunman shoot a man directly in the chest. The attacker reportedly targeted the man's prayer room in the mosque, then moved to the woman's room. Quote, What I did was basically just waiting and praying, God please let this guy run out of bullets, the witness said. He came to the side. He shot the side. He went to another room and went to the ladies' section and shot them. I just heard one of the ladies has died. You'll see the actual mosques themselves from an aerial view. A Palestinian man who was asked not to be named told the AFP news agency he heard rapid gun fire and saw a man shot in the head. I heard three quick shots, then after about ten seconds it started again. It must have been an automatic. No one could pull a trigger that quick, he said. Then people started running out. Some were covered in blood. A second mosque in the suburb of Linwood was also evacuated. The police commissioner said multiple fatalities were recorded at two locations. How the authorities responded. Multiple casualties were brought to Christchurch Hospital where there was a heavy police presence. 
A spokeswoman said Canterbury District Health Board had activated its mass casualty plan. The New Zealand news site stuff.com NZ reported. Police earlier cleared Cathedral Square where thousands of children had been holding a rally for action on climate change. Cricket team escape attack. The Bangladesh national cricket team appeared to have narrowly escaped the shooting. A reporter following the team, which was due to play New Zealand in a now cancelled test match on Saturday, tweeted that the team had escaped from a mosque near Hugley Park where they were active shooters. Player Tamin Iqua tweeted that the entire team got saved from active shooters. Bangladesh cricket sports spokesman Jalal Zanu said most of the team had gone to a mosque by bus and were about to go inside when the incident took place. They are safe, but they are mentally shocked. We have asked the team to stay confined in a hotel, he told the AP News Agency. Well, there's an embedded video of an eyewitness who said, my hands were shaking so hard. You want to hear what she has to say. This is totally insane. I suspect there'll be more casualties based on the number of people that were wounded. The link will be attached. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass it along to your like-minded friends and ask them to do the same. Thanks for listening.